Now, should you approach a woman that's not sending signals? That's up to you. I mean, honestly, if you see a woman you think is amazing and you haven't seen a woman of this caliber in years or months or whatever, and you're like, I gotta talk to her and she's not sending any signals, then what do you have to lose? You can still walk over, say hi, and if she's not receptive, you can excuse yourself and leave. And that's fine too, but at least you gave it a shot. So in this video, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanna talk about the subtle signs that let a man know that a woman's attracted to him on a date. Are you able to read those signs? Can you pick up on those signs? When you're out with a woman, are you able to feel when she likes you? Can you play with that idea? It's a, it's a powerful concept. A lot of guys can't tell. And I remember when I couldn't tell, I would just throw shit against the wall. And then sometimes I got the feeling she liked me, but I was too scared to take a risk because I wasn't totally sure. So what does that look like when a woman's attracted to you? Now we have a powerful product called Sex Signals. It's based on the book by Lil Lowndes called Sex Signals, which I highly recommend you read, which helps with this. And the, the product we've got, we're talking to women about this very topic and having the women demonstrate mm -hmm. the way they let men know they like them. And when you start to see this, it's like a matrix. It's very subtle, but when it starts to happen, all these um, realizations come to you. You start to look at women differently. You'll start to go into bars and you'll sit there and you'll look at the crowd in the bar and you'll see that women are sending off signals all the time mm -hmm. to different guys. No, yes, maybe. And if you sit there and you look really good and you're open, certain women are going to automatically be open to you. Other women are going to be maybe and some women are going to be no. And if you're looking to play it a little safer, you can pick those women to walk up to. Well, it's the same thing on a date. When you're on a date, you'll see that some women are more open to being kissed, having their hand grab, leaning forward, moving in, and some women aren't. And being able to pick up on these signals is a rare, rare art for most men. I can't remember the exact statistic. It was done by Perper, who did his studies on this. A uh, huge amount of study would study men and women courting in bars. And he saw there's a very small percentage, I used to know the number, but it's a ridiculously small of men that could actually read a woman's sex signals. They could pick up on them. And this is so powerful when you think about it. And could pick up on her signals as to whether she wanted you to move forward or back. And she was often initiating a lot of stuff. Through her openness, she was inviting men over. And a lot of guys didn't even realize they were falling for this stuff. And then some guys, a small percentage, could talk back in the subtle communication. And they got all the benefits of that. So I highly recommend you learn to understand these sex signals. They're so powerful. So I'm gonna go through a few things that I think, uh, that, it's not all of them by any means, it's a large amount. And there's many, if we get women in here, they'll go through their own ways and subtleties of doing it. But as you start to see it more and more, it becomes more obvious. And then when you start seeing two or three, it becomes even more obvious. And sometimes you'll see women sending specific signals to specific men. And sometimes you'll see women sending out signals in general that they're open to be approached or in general that they're not. And when you can start to see that, it makes life so much easier. Now, should you approach a woman that's not sending signals? That's up to you. I mean, honestly, if you see a woman you think is amazing and you haven't seen a woman of this caliber in years or months or whatever, and you're like, I gotta talk to her and she's not sending any signals, then what do you have to lose? You can still walk over, say hi. And if she's not receptive, you can excuse yourself and leave. And that's fine too, but at least you gave it a shot. But in general, when you're going out, look for the women that are more open, generally more open. And some of the things that you'll see out there that are so powerful that to me is, is where it all starts is how open is their body language in general? And there's tons of ways their body language can be open. How, uh, and how good is their eye contact? Uh, you might see things like, and I'll just go through a small list. You might see things like a woman makes direct eye contact with you and then she smiles and looks down and then looks back within about seven seconds. That's, that's a sign to come over, that's an invite. And uh, some guys get that on a regular basis, some guys don't, it all depends on how open you are too, to triggering this in women. Another one you might see uh, with eye contact is a woman will be sitting there and then she catches your eyes and she's doing these little glances and she's just kind of curious, little, little sidelong glances and she's doo -doo 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 doing this over here, looks back, doing this, that's a maybe. 
that's typically a woman saying, and none of these are 100%, but that's typically, yeah, there's something interesting about this person. I'm going to keep checking them out. Another one you might see is a woman looking up really fast. That's usually a no. That's usually a, I don't want to catch your eye. I don't want to be approached right now. And so that's three simple eye contacts right there. Some of the other stuff you'll see is, is women tend to start opening their body language when they like you. In other words, they start putting their chest out, their clothes will become more revealing. Uh, they'll lean in towards you, their legs, knee or foot will start going towards you. And when they're losing interest, they start pulling away and start pulling their body language back. Maybe they start looking at their, if you're in a bar, they might look at their cell phone, they'll turn their energy this way. And, uh, and you'll start to notice these subtleties. Usually one will lead to another, will lead to another, will lead to another. And they start getting more and more obvious. If a woman is reciprocating your touch, let's say you're saying, oh my God, you're so funny. And you just kind of tap her on the, on the forearm. And then she's, oh, you're funny. And she taps you back. That's a really good sign. Um, if she's tapping you and you reach down and grab her hand and you hold her hand for just like you just literally reach down, touch her forearm, slide down, grab the hand. And she's unconsciously or consciously, but a lot of times it's unconscious. You squeeze her hand a little bit and she squeezes back. That's a good, good sign. That often means that a woman is, is getting into you and you don't have to hold her hand very long. You just hold it for a second, let it go. And you move on. Does a woman invade your space and get a little closer? These are all great signs that a woman likes you as she's leaning in a little bit closer. How about her voice tone? Is her voice tone more curt and more shut off or do you feel more emotion in it? And is she leaning in a little bit? Like the difference is, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Tell me more about that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did that. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's kind of cold, but if she starts leaning in more, starts, Hey, t interesting. Tell me more about, oh my God, really? And her energy starts moving towards you. There's that sense that she's investing in you or not investing in you. And sometimes if they're like, yeah, what, yeah, tell me more, yeah. They're not that interested and you keep going and you stay open, sometimes you'll start pulling them in. But, uh, but the other one is when they get cold. When they really want you to go away, a lot of times let's say you're in a bar, they'll just start saying less. Yeah, okay. They get cold and they kind of turn to their friends. They look at their cell phone and that's their polite way without saying it directly. That I don't want to talk anymore. Now, remember women don't owe you anything. You don't owe them anything, especially if you don't know them. If you have no relationship, no agreements with them, you're walking up to talk to them. You're entering their space. They don't owe you a response. And just like if they respond in a way that you don't like, you don't owe them any more responses either. You can end the conversation anytime you want. Because um, in the beginning, it's best if we both look at it that way. I'm just going to wait and see if there's a connection. If there's not, I'm going to move on and find somebody else. You don't owe me anything and I don't owe you anything. You don't even have to be nice to me. And you imagine if you were obligated to be nice to everybody you met. Imagine you're walking down through the mall and there's a million people trying to sell you something, everyone that stopped you. And at what point do you want to, are you tired of being polite sometimes? I mean, I'd much rather her woman be honest and real with me and give me her real emotional expression in the moment than to fake pretending to be nice to me just to make me happy. So what this does is it allows you to see who's more open to being talked to and who's more friendly. Now there's tons of these, by the way, and uh, I highly recommend you go to a bar and you, you just kind of take the ones I talked about and look and just take a little notepad and write down the ways women flirt with men, the way they lean in, the way they communicate, go to a place where you can see men and women on dates and just kind of watch this in happen watch this happen, watch this process in place. You're going to learn so much and really look for girls that are interested and look for girls that are shutting off because you learn a lot from the extremes and then start watching what's in between the extremes. Because once you've got the extremes, you can start to fill the middle up and start journaling the different things you see from the way the eye contact works to the way she leans in to a way some guys even deal with girls that are more cold and how they, they adjust their energy and how some of these girls will open back up. But the moment you can start to see this communication, start adjusting to it, the better off you're going to be. Now, this is just a short video to bring some light to it. And we talked about eye contact. We talked about voice tone. We talked about, you know, is, is their foot leaning towards you? Are they invading your space, like standing close to you while you talk? Are they pulling back? Some women, when they want to get a guy's attention, they'll bump into them in a bar or they'll lean across in front of them to get some excuse me. And then they'll lean back. Uh, I had a one girl that wanted to meet me on a dance floor at a, uh, at a country bar. Yeah, don't, don't hold that against me. And we were dancing. I was dancing and she went out there and started dancing next to me.
And then she started spinning and kept hitting me with her elbow. And that was her, it was her sign of saying, say hi to me. She was being very blunt. Um, and so I, how can you say no to that kind of invitation? It was interesting, but that's what women do. They don't like to say it directly. Men say it directly. Hi, I want to meet you. What's your name? Men should also say, you know what, I'm going to go now. You know, or yeah, excuse me, I got to go. But whereas women tend to be a little more subtle. So you start paying attention to those subtleties. Start paying attention to how they make you feel emotionally cold or warm. That's a big one too. And this will be a huge clue as to whether the women like you. Plus the eye contact. Are they revealing more clothing? Are they leaning in? Are they pulling back? Are they closing off more? Um, and there's so many more. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to check out either Leela Allen's book, Sex Signals, or check out our product uh, on Sex Signals and the interviews we have with so oh, tons of different beautiful women talking about this very topic and how they flirt with men, whether on dates or in bars, and how they let men know they like them or don't like them in a lot of cases. And I highly recommend you check it out because there you get the video demonstrations of all this stuff. And it's so 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 powerful so with that said i hopefully you like this video and if you want me to do more on this topic i'll gladly do more maybe we'll get some more models in we've been intending to to do more demonstrations in this area we could do a few more on the channel put a comment in some of the, the the things you most see in women when they're flirting or when they're rejecting and let us know we'd love to hear that and uh, make sure to like the video if you got some value out of it make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't make sure you get all the content hit that bell notification make sure to share because you know sharing is one of the best ways for me to grow the channel it really helps us get the message out there and it helps a lot more people but it also helps us to create more content because as the channel grows it allows us to do what we need to do to create more content so hopefully you enjoyed this and when it comes to flirting with women what would you do if you're fearless have a beautiful day and i'll see you in the next video